<laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm going to wait a few minutes while everyone starts to arrive. It is, uh, it's one o'clock and I'm really, really grateful. I'm really excited to be here and excited to connect with each and every one of you, whether it is live in the moment or if it's in the replay um, after the fact. All of this is still holding space for you. For those who are not aware of and don't know me, my name is Monica. I am an embodied mystic as well as a spiritual teacher. And um, it is, it's my honor to teach. And it, is, and it is my passion and my joy and my love. And I, I do. That's what I do. <laughs> um, and this is perfectly timed with Isabel's teaching this morning about really clearing the canvas. And what I intend to teach as well as to actually practice and guide you through uh, in a little bit is how to connect to yourself and how to kind of silence all the other pieces that we take in. There's so much, so much information, so much ideas and concepts and how to kind of really go in and, and connect with ourselves because that is where our wisdom is and that's where our own internal guidance is. So the topic is trauma, the soul, body, and transformation. And trauma, um, I have a lot of background with trauma, my own personal experience with it, as well as it has been my life path and my, my journey of learning and training and research uh, to really, really understand it. And what just fascinates me more than the trauma experience but it's, it's the transformation because what I believe is those who have had those experiences and have experienced with trauma and how they move forward, um, they experience life so differently. Um, so without much further ado, um, just explaining how I define what trauma is, is it's an experience. It is something that we have this moment where we are confronted with where something of our being is threatened, um, whether it be physical, mental, or emotional, or even spiritual, and it goes into survival mode. And these traumas, they imprint on our being. They imprint on who we are, and they, they imprint with stories, with uh, experiences, with emotions, with even the, the phys physiology changes in our system. And what happens is that transforms and that changes us. It, that moment, it changes our relationship to ourself as well as our relationship to the world and our relationship to others. And we have that choice to make. Is that where we want to be or do we want to transform it again? Do we want to change and how do we actually change that? Um, and speaking to what Isabel was teaching before of letting go and clearing house and really releasing those old stories and those old patterns that don't resonate with us. Um, one thing which I believe is, is missing or not talked about enough is really how to release and let go of those, those pieces. Because before able to reframe and to write your own story, it's really, really important to look at those old patterns. And looking at them, it's this process of acknowledging and witnessing and holding space for it and really holding it and being grateful because they helped us. They helped us to survive. They helped us to take care of us so we could move on and so we could function. And so in doing so, there is so much gratitude that needs to be held with them. Um, so in this exploration of its curiosity, like, how do we transform it, right? How do we look at those old wounds? I was reading in the, the conversations earlier how even just thinking about um, different questions of where you want to be and where you want to go, it starts to kind of surface up um, different pieces, different memories, different um, belief systems, different components within us that we weren't aware of. And how do you really look at it in, in a safe way? As well as um, in a way that they feel included in the conversation. <laughs> I, I really want to acknowledge the inclusion in this conversation because these are parts of us that um, 
that perhaps they, they feel rejected and they feel left out. And so when you want to transform and change, it's like if you just take a moment and think about a conversation, an argument, a conflict, whatever you had um, with somebody in the past or even with a child um, and just going back to that place and just remembering that moment when you're arguing with somebody or trying to effort and push your point, what happens? How do they react? How do they respond? Chances are there's, there's a bit of resistance. Chances are it just comes back even harder and they start arguing even more. And so that's going against what's happening. That's going against the conflict. What, what if you became curious? What if in that moment, instead of trying to push your point, to push your agenda and what you really, really believe is true, which is your belief and what you want to change, but to become curious about it and ask them, what is it that, that they're feeling, that they're trying to say? And that just changes the dynamics completely. And so this is the same piece of working with our old wounds, working with our traumas, working with those pieces of ourselves, of really being curious about them. Um, and I'll say when I start moving us through the guided meditation of, of be curious and just notice, because there's nothing to change. There's nothing to fix. It's noticing. And once you notice and you open this connection between you and that part of yourself, or you and that little girl or that little boy inside, um, what, what happens is, is there's where space happens. That's when you start to trust. That's when you start to be able to kind of build this relationship. And that's what this, what I'm going to guide us through in a moment, is you are building a relationship with a part of yourself. You're opening, it's almost like a first date again. <laughs> it's, it's you're reconnecting to that part of yourself that somewhere, some moment in time has been rejected, has been um, pushed aside and said that you're not right and you're not okay and you're wrong somewhere in them. And so starting that conversation with them and connecting in and really, really asking them, what is it that they need? What is it that, that you want? That's when the healing starts to really, really starts to flourish and really starts to happen. And so one other piece that I really want to kind of share um, before we move into the guided meditation is, is I call it resourcing and inner resources. Because as we move through, emotions will come up, memories may, may come up, even sensations in the body will come up. And to know that you have an inner resource to go to that's safe. And what I mean by inner resources is um, think of like a teddy bear or um, a blanket. I, I, I still have a teddy bear, so I'm going to use teddy bear. Um, I have a teddy bear. And when I need to soothe or to be comforted, I hold on to that and I can touch that and it's okay. And, and it actually, it brings my emotions to stabilize. It brings my body down. So my breathing starts to calm down and even my muscles start to relax. And so what I'm going to guide you through in the beginning is how to find your own inner resource. How do you find that place when you don't have something tangible like that or something external to go to? Um, in our world, there's lots of ways that people cope as well as ways of, of avoiding it. And, and I understand there's, there's the, all the addictions of drugs and alcohol and shopping and the Internet and all these other pieces. I, I get it. I completely understand why people use these things because... It's, it's coping. It's when life becomes too much. And what I really want to teach you is that you have these sources and these inner resilience inside of yourself. So 
without further ado, I am, I am probably going to go over, um, I was going to try and keep this at 15 minutes, but I really wanted to talk through this guided meditation. And so I might go over, um, 10 more minutes or so to go through it. Um, and so with that being said, what I invite you to do is just take a few moments and and just notice and get comfortable. Whatever feels comfortable and good to you. Maybe you need to move your body a little bit. Stretch it a little bit. And when you're ready, your body will tell you. And I'll be ready just to settle. And from that place, I invite you just, just to notice. Notice your breath. It doesn't need to be changed. doesn't need to be adjusted. Just notice. So you can even notice how your chest rises and falls with each breath. You can follow that down your arms to your hands. How are they settling? How are you holding them? Just bring your awareness and track down through your back, down your legs. And I really invite you allow yourself to feel held. The earth, the ground is coming up. Yeah, it's coming up to hold you and support you. with your next breath I invite you to ask your body where do you feel safe maybe it's in your hands Maybe it's a knee, a shoulder. What feels safe to you? And when you find that spot, what I invite you to do is to place a hand there. And really just connect with that place. How does it feel? This, this is your safe space in this moment. I 
as we move through the next part of this meditation, know that you can always come back to this place. And even thank this place for loving you and supporting you. And on your next breath, I invite you to really notice what part of you is calling your attention. Is there a place within you that's speaking to you? Or are speaking through sensations? Maybe heat, it tingles. And when you locate that place, bring your full attention right there. Bring your breath. So it surrounds it. You can breathe your full breath right into that place. And what do you notice? Does it have a color? or even a texture? What shapes does it form? And ask this part of you, what does it need? What does it want to say? What do you want to say and share and show to this part of you? Just notice how it responds. Mm. And before, before you go, say thank you. Thank you for talking and connecting. 
and helping you. On your next breath, I invite you to take your fingers, start wiggling your fingers, and start to move your hands down both arms, down your chest front and the back, and then slowly move your hands down your legs, and down to your feet if you can, even wiggle your toes a little bit, and when you're ready, open your eyes. and come back. Hmm. And just take a minute and allow yourself to arrive. Hmm. And just notice, notice how you feel. Maybe even notice what may come up. And the exercise that we just moved through is so versatile. I invited you to have an intention during the time that we connected together. And you can use this exercise to really deepen specifically with that intention of where do you hold it in your body what does it want to say to you? And how do you connect in even deeper? The mind and the spirit, to me, the body is where spirit communicates to us through our sensations, through how we even hold ourselves, through even illnesses and sicknesses. It's, it's the way the spirit can communicate to us, as well as where we can transform it, where we can actually move and connect with it in this place. And so this is a way of helping to move through even the subtles, subtleties and the really, really tender spots. So just to wrap everything up, um, I am so, so grateful that you came and connected in with me um, as well as I was really inspired um, yesterday and um, I am offering a five-day exploration of discovering your inner resources um, starting on Monday and each day will be a variety of different pieces of meditations like this um, that I'll be offering as well as exploring your senses like the body is so I'm in a tactile place I'm even holding my stone <laughs> um, and and using these places in in the senses and the smells and even taste um, of different ways of connecting to spirit connecting in with your own inner wisdom and your own inner guidance um, as we move into fall, it couldn't be more perfectly timed of really starting to move inward and letting go of all those pieces that, that no longer resonate with us. Um, so when I, I modify and I edit and revise the post, I'll put the links in the, um, the post so you can check it out. Um, but uh, again, I'm really, really grateful for our time. And if the five-day challenge doesn't and the exploration doesn't call to you, um, the other offering is my Phoenix Soul Tribe. 
which has got some amazing, amazing people in there and um, really, really heart-centered um, people who are about being present. How do we really integrate through the body? How do we share this with others? How do we live from a place of authenticity and really aligned and inspired? Um, so that I'll put in a link as well um, in, in the post. So thank you so much for joining me. Um, deep, deep gratitude and love. And I hope you have a wonderful blessing in a day. Much love.